Rupert Patrick is a man on a mission. He's attempting to bring back to life a lost classic blended whiskey that has not been produced since the 1940s. James Ely was born near Glen Eagles in Scotland in 1827 and was one of 14 children. James left school at the age of 14 and travelled to England to seek his fortune. In 1854, he established the James Ely Brewery at Burton on Trent. The brewery produced a range of beers, and then to meet demand, he launched his own Scottish whisky. The original James Eady was my great great grandfather. The brewery was set up, the James Eady Brewery, in 1854, and it was carried on till 1933 when it was sold to Bass. I've had 25 years in the Scotch whisky business, and I've known a little bit about this guy, but never very much. So while a few of my cousins had the odd bottle of the old stuff knocking around, it wasn't something they talked about and I found a couple of the old bottles. And that then led me on to, well, I wonder what it's like. I wonder what the ingredients were. I wonder if it was any good. And that's when I decided to go to Burton-on-Trent, talk to the National Brewery Archive, and as luck would have it, they had some ledgers. They had four or five huge grey whiskey ledgers from 1870 to 1890. And there was the treasure that unlocked this business. Rupert recruits master blender Norman Matheson. Norman is one of the world's top master blenders with over 40 years experience of blending fine Scottish whiskies. But what are the ingredients he's looking for to create the new blend? Water, distillation technique, the malted barley, the yeast and the cask. I was very excited that Norman was going to be involved in this because you need somebody with great experience with, with, with blending and with whisky and who has that length of experience in the industry understanding how things have changed, understanding uh, older whiskies, you know, how whiskies evolve, understanding principles of balance and complexity. Taste, aftertaste, any fieriness or non-fieriness, uh, we wanted peat in the blend, how heavy to go with the peat, and again, is it just on the nose or how the effect you want on the taste as well. Having recruited Norman, Rupert decides the next thing to do is to open one of the old bottles. But how will it taste? 